Hey guys, welcome back to Shredcraft RC. I'm Cam, and today we're going to be checking out and building the new Red Cat RDS Builders Kit. So, uh, seen a lot of stuff about this kit, and I was interested myself. Um, so yeah, build it, check it out. I'll build it off camera just because I like to kind of pay attention and focus on everything and then I will give my thoughts at the end. So, see you then. Today we have the Red Cat RDS built and uh, in the advertising they had it shredding outside so I wanted to first battery pack, uh, take it outside and see what it do. So it's kind of hard to drive and film, so I'm just going to put it on my chest. And uh, we're here down at Scale Science, so they have a little lot. It's pretty rough, but those tires seem pretty sticky. So um, first run after being built, parking lot shred. Check out the tires.
got back from the track and the first time testing the RDS here. So my initial thoughts uh, with building the kit is it just went together kind of all right. There were some difficult things and a couple confusing parts on the uh, instructions. And then these stock ball cups are just, they're horrible. They're really hard to put together. Uh, they're really sticky. They, they're probably warped already. So uh, if you can see up here, I've already changed out. I put the RDX stock hub, uh, plastic hub on here, just because of the stock hubs for the Red Cat were kind of atrocious. I don't, I don't know what's going on here with this king pin. Inclination makes it a little goofy. Um, you can tune the steering rack to be to work with it, but I even cut the stoppers off and uh, If you can see in some of the clips where I'm driving the car would just spin out kind of at the end of the angle in Or the end of the corner, so I don't think it was getting enough angle um, With how the geometry set up so the whole steering racks kind of goofy to me and I'm not a big fan of the direct drive with the geometry they give you out of the box. It could definitely be improved. So I have the Yokomo uh, ball cups on here and then uh, I'm still gonna play with that and try to dial this in and get that front end to grip up compared to the RDX, which I'm going through kind of adding new hubs and stuff to right now and that'll be its own video later on. But uh, yeah, overall impressions, I think it's a good start. Um, it's awesome to see this from an American manufacturer. Uh, the you know the carbon deck is going to be a plus for a lot of people. I'm probably going to make my own version. Uh, the rear ESC mount from the factory is super nice. It's just like the RDX, um, except it's not removable. Minus just having two uh, hex screws there. Other than that, I put my own bumpers, uh, my YD2 bumpers that I made fit perfectly. Um, most of the mounting locations as far as the tow blocks um, and stuff, those all seem to be Yokomo. The arm spacing uh, seems to be Yokomo. I have red D arms on the front and that is about it as far as um, what I've done to this so far so uh, these initial clips from tonight were stock setup I had all the stock ball cups and stuff on um, and right now I'm just trying to improve the steering geometry there so um, yeah I mean I think it's a pretty solid platform to start on and build on and we'll see what they uh, release for the aftermarket with this car but Again, it's awesome to see this from an uh, American manufacturer and excited to uh, play more with it. So thanks for watching and I hope you guys like this one. Uh, more videos with this RDS build and uh, the RDX build. So, um, you know, similar price kits. So I will uh, see you guys on the next one. Peace.